Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play Meteor Defense Coordinate 1 game. When you first start the game, this is what you'll see. You've got the instructions here and it tells you to click to play. But uh, you also see the uh, little control panel down here. I'd like to go over that before I uh, get into the heat of the battle here. So, um, what you'll do is the missiles will be, c uh, the, I'm sorry, the meteors will be coming in from the top. You'll have your cities down here, and the object of the game is to protect your cities. And you'll continue to play as long as you have cities left. And it, once you lose all your cities, the game's, game will be over. So to plug in the uh, uh, where the missiles go, you'll have to plug in X and Y coordinate where you want the missile to go. And to do that, it, when I first start out, I'll go ahead and click uh, uh, a value here for X. And then when I'm satisfied that with that, I'll click this Y. And once it's highlighted, then I'll click a value here. And you'll see the values you click in show up here on the X and the Y. And then once you're happy with the X and Y value, go ahead and click Fire. And the missile will go to the coordinate that's shown over here. The Grid button turns the visual grid on and off. Um, so, you know, if you're more advanced and, and, and you don't really care for the grid, um, you can go ahead and turn it off here. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and click Play. And here are the cities you have to protect. Here comes a meteor. It's coming straight down. It's about X of 9, and eventually it's going to hit, it looks like, about 3. So let's plug in 9 for your X. Click Y, and click 3, and we'll go hit Fire. And got it. So uh, here comes another one. It's heading straight down, it looks like. A little bit, a little bit to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and click an X of 4. And Y of, uh, let's go ahead and click 8. Just needs to be pretty close to it, and got rid of that one. If you want to pause the game, click this button. This will turn the music on and off. This will turn the uh, sound effects on and off. So you keep playing, uh, like I said, until you um, lose all your cities. And I'm going to go ahead and you'll get to see what happens when a uh, meteor hits. It, it'll either damage the city or destroy it. Now these are the, the smaller ones and here comes a larger one. The larger ones will pretty much take out a city. If, if With a direct hit it will de totally destroy your city. And uh, we'll kind of look at it and watch it and see what happens here. And uh, let me go ahead and turn on the grid so you can see what that looks like. And that's good if you're starting out and you really like the grid. Um, I, I like to play with it off and, and the missiles are pretty powerful such that you just kind of hit pretty much close to the to the ash, uh, to the meteor and it'll take it out. We're having one fixing a hit here and I don't know if that's a direct hit and some of the smaller ones have to do sometimes have to do a couple of hits before it takes out a city. And it should there it goes. Okay, you can see it's the city's changed a little bit. Uh, it's not blue any longer. It's it's damaged and it's showing a little red color. Probably another hit and it will be destroyed. Now this big one when it hits, I believe it will probably, even though the city hadn't done, didn't show any damage, it will, I believe, will take out the uh, city, depending on how close it is to it. But this one looks like it's going to be uh, straight on. And there goes that city. And the rest of my cities are undamaged. Now, as you play, you know, I don't even have to worry about that one anymore because it won't damage any of my, my cities that are healthy. So, you know, as you play along, once you... Uh, only have one or two cities left, say these two over here. You don't have to worry about the ones coming down over here, so you focus on the ones that are heading towards your healthy cities. And I think we're fixing to lose this city right here. Let's go ahead and see how that, that works out. And this should be, I'm guessing, the end of level one. And as the levels go uh, increase, it gets a little bit harder and more meteors and a little bit faster. So those are about ready to hit the ground, and actually that just damaged the city, okay. And then that one will probably take it out. If we just went to level two, and notice it took out that city and damaged this one. So the larger ones seem to do a little bit more damage. Okay, so we kind of got a little breather here. What I like to do is go ahead and plug a Y value of nine, and then get because the meteors will come in here, and then I can just plug in the X value, which is going to be 9 also, and fire. And let's go ahead and plug in 9 for that. And X of about uh, 6. 
Got it. A little bit off there, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and plug in the 9 because there will be another one coming up, and it's coming up at an X of 8. So I always like to, uh, that's a little tip that will help you uh, uh, protect more cities and, and do a little bit better in the game. So it comes along with an X of 8. And fire. Oop. And I got a little bit too early on that. So, anyways, um, that's how you play. Um, I hope you enjoy the game, and thanks for watching.